Knocking on the door, checking the sign to see if I need to put on any PPE clothing, entering the room. Hello, Mr. Curley, I'm your CNA today. I'll be transferring you over to the chair and also assisting you in oral hygiene. Could I see your wristband, please? And when's your birthday? 11 13 71. Okay, I'm closing the curtain for privacy and I'm washing my hands. And then I'm going to assist my patient to jingle off of the bed and making sure that their feet are flat on the floor. Okay, so I'm making sure that their feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to grab my gate belt and I'm going to place it around my patient. Making sure that it is snug, but not too snug that I could still place my um, fingers or my flat palm underneath it. So I'm going to tell my patient that on the count of three, they are going to push off of the bed as much as possible and stand with their heads straight so they don't get dizzy. So one, two, three. Then we're going to pivot towards the chair and sit down. And then I'm going to remove the gate belt. and place it back um, where it belongs so it can't harm my patient. Then I'm going to move the overbed table uh, close to me so um, I have easy access. So I'm going to place a paper towel first to cover the overbed table. Then I'm going to have my soft bristle toothbrush and toothpaste. And I'm going to grab mouthwash and a cup of water with a straw. I'm going to have my kidney basin, a hand towel, and then a towel to go over my patient's chest. So I'm going to place the towel over my patient's chest, and then I'm going to um, wash my hands and put on gloves. The privacy curtain is already closed from the gate belt um, transition. So I'm going to take um, the toothbrush, hold it over the kidney basin, and rinse it with water. And then I'm going to apply toothpaste. I'm going to encourage Mr. Curley to um, try and brush his own teeth using his strong hand. So the toothpaste is already on the toothbrush, hold it. Okay, so you're going to wash the inner part of your mouth, the outer part of your mouth, the top of your teeth, the chewing surfaces, then you're going to brush your cheeks, the roof of your mouth, and then making sure that you brush your tongue. And if I see that Mr. Curly is struggling with brushing his own teeth, I will take the toothbrush and brush them myself. Going over the inner, outer chewing surfaces, um, inside the cheeks, the tongue, and the roof of the mouth. Making sure that everything's clean, and then whenever my patient needs to, I'm going to let them take in water and rinsing it in the kidney basin. So I'm going to, the teeth are clean, so I'm going to dry my patient's mouth, make sure that there's no excess toothpaste. I'm going to have them use mouthwash. And I'm going to wipe their mouth if necessary. So then I'm going to remove my gloves and rewash my hands. I'm going to take my equipment and put it back where it belongs. So I'm taking the cup, the mouthwash, because the mouthwash can harm my patient. I'm rinsing, cleaning, and drying my kidney basin with a dry paper towel and discarding of that paper towel. I'm going to remove the towel over my patient's chest, discard this, and the hand towel according to um, the agency policy. I'm going to put back the toothpaste and the toothbrush. I'm going to proceed in taking the paper towel off of the overbed table and drying the overbed table. And then, um, my patient is staying in the chair, um, so I'm going to make sure that I replace the collet next to my patient. I'm removing my gloves and rewashing my hands. 
I'm asking my patient if there's anything that they need from me today or anything else that they need from me today. No, I'm good. Okay, I'm uh, making sure that she's comfortable. I'm checking the room to um, make sure that there's nothing that can harm my patient, like the mouthwash, toothpaste, toothbrush, anything that I was using or anything sharp or anything that my patient can trip on. I'm um, removing the privacy curtain and uh, making sure all my equipment is put away. I'm going to record and, um, record and report my observations. Um, I'm going to make sure report that my patient did good or bad brushing their teeth. Um, uh, if they were bleeding or if they needed anything else from me that during that time period. And then I did forget to mention that in the beginning, what I needed from the nurse was the type of oral hygiene I was to perform, if floss was needed, um, if I needed to apply lubricant to the lips after uh, the oral hygiene was uh, happened, and then how much help the person needed. So that's it.